Hey, what's up everyone? It's David here. I've got the EE Smart Hub and EE Smart Wi-Fi disc. These have been sent to me from EE and I'm going to be unboxing and quickly reviewing them and in another video I will be setting them up. So you may or may not know that EE is a BT company and the Wi-Fi disc in this box is pretty much the exact same thing that you'll get from BT if you're a BT customer for broadband and the smart hub is a completely different design on the outside but the internal actual workings is pretty much the same from the actual BT smart hub on first glimpse there's not really much to the package in itself it's just got the EE logo on it with the description of what it contains in a standard brown colored box the texture of the actual box is basically as you would normally get a cardboard box so it's pretty standard there's no actual printing done to the actual box itself it's like i said it's exactly as you would get a plain cardboard box but on the description, obviously, on the top one, you can see EE Smart Wi-Fi Disk and the one below, EE Smart Router. And, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So, first off, I'm going to start with the EE Smart Router. And I'll be getting back to the EE Smart Wi-Fi Disk momentarily. So, just going to unbox it. release this flap okay now I've opened the box see the smart hub itself in that little circular window and here's a leaflet welcoming you to smart Wi-Fi nice let's get to the actual smart hub itself On the packaging, it's got listed what it contains on the side there, your smart hub, your plug, your stand, your adapter, ADSL adapter, and everything there. So like I said, it's, it carries on that standard cardboard brown box inside. So this is the stand itself that you will have to assemble to your smart hub. I've done this in order for it to fit through the letterbox. Your RJ45 cable or Ethernet cable. That's your ADSL adapter filter. Many of us don't use that anymore because we have a faceplate. That's the ADSL cable. It's the flat cable, so it's prone to bringing out lots of interference. I wouldn't recommend using that. You can now buy round cables off of eBay. And as you can see there, that's the power block that you have to assemble. It is the exact same one that comes from BT, if you're a BT broadband customer. Just clicks in place. So obviously release it, you've got to release but they've done this in order for it to fit through the letterbox. That's why it's slim lined. Now the piece de resistance, the smart hub itself. Still in a plastic bag. I'm sure this will be phased out soon because it's better for the environment. Single use plastic. So as you can see on the actual device, you've got four Ethernet sockets, but one is for WAN if you have fiber to the premises. So you lose a socket, you only get three then. But that's one more than what Sky gives you on their box. They only give you two RJ45 sockets, Ethernet sockets. And you've got USB, that's your power cord connection. Your DC jack. So in the front it's got that white look and you can see that 
it's not slim slim but it's not overly fat so it's just you know it is acceptable you've got your west button on the side wesp wps button so this is your instruction book welcoming you this is your user guide telling you what you get in the box what your lights mean when you turn it on what your yellow your blue your... and your red so that concludes the smart hub router and let's move on to the smart wi-fi disc now shall we Thank you, Hand, for placing the EE Smart Wi-Fi disc on the table. <laughs> Don't forget to clear the space whilst you're at. Ah, brilliant. Now we've got a clear workspace. So, let's get to it, shall we? Inside, you've got the circular Wi-Fi disc. This looks familiar, doesn't it, if you're a BT customer? That's because it's the exact same housing, same casing, exact same internals that are inside this box. Except it's got an EE logo on. <laughs> I kid myself. So let's just uh, see what else is in the box before we open it. power adapter it's a nice white one this time it's an interesting color because they normally are black and the cable is also white as well and that's the adapter to plug into so let's have a look at the disc itself as i said before it's the exact same design as the BT one. Except it's got a separation in the card. And what you get with the BT Total Wi-Fi di wi -Fi discs. It's got an Ethernet socket on the back so you can set it up easily by connecting it to the main hub. As well as keeping it connected so you get the most out of your broadband speed. And you can also use the socket as a connection between a device that doesn't have a built-in wi-fi adapter you'll notice i've got my bt wi-fi disc as you can see i'm comparing the two and there are some differences between them but there are more similarities than there are differences as you can see on the back the uh, the setup is exactly the same the rj45 with the power connection right next to each other and the on off button at the bottom as well as the wesp The stand is different, and a few minor other things, but other than that, it's pretty much the same, just a different colour. Internally, they are exactly the same from a design point. As I've opened up both of them, I found that the circuit boards are exactly the same. I'll just put the two together there. Coming up, will Velvet let me set up the new Wi Fi box? Only time will tell. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you out there.